Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jason, who is not with the algorithms. In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, 485, the easy one. Uh, max consecutive ones. Given a binary array, find the maximum number of consecutive ones in this array. So 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 3. Well, um, let's just uh, take a look at the example. So, for the first, this is for the start, we found a 1. So it should be, maximum should be 1, right? And then we made another one, okay? And then we made a 0, so we found uh, the maximum 2, update it. So we res uh, reset, and we find another one, and then another one, another one. Uh, yeah, and then another one, right? And then the next one is... Yeah, just it. So we update three. It's very simple actually. I think we only we need to keep track of of the of the zero or non one right before the start of one, right? right? Several ones, right? Let's say that let's keep the priv as the index, okay? So priv is minus one. Let's suppose it's minus one. Here, some, 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 uh, somewhere here, so we will loop through all the numbers, and I will be set to the, the last one, the, uh, the, the the space after one, so that we don't need to handle the last uh, ser uh, last consecutive ones, right? Okay, I set it to nums. This is only for convenience. I plus plus. Okay. So there are several cases of this. First, if nums i is one, right? If it is one, actually we do nothing, right? We do nothing. We continue. If it is not one, or we say if nums i is not one, it might be undefined here or zero, right? If that's the case, we need need to calculate the, 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 the string, uh, uh, the length of consecutive ones, right? Even undefined here, or zeros, or the last undefined, when we meet them, there will be a chunk of ones. We will calculate the length be, by subtracting the, uh, the index with the priv, right? And let result equals, because we're getting the max, we set it to infinity. Okay, zero is good enough, I think. Now if it, so we update the result, result should be math max result buried by i subtracted with priv, right? So minus one, we got one, zero, one, two, minus one. So we got three, right? But actually there's a two. Uh, one, zero, two, so it's two, but it's not, so I think it minus one. Yeah, and then we need to update the priv to itself, right? Uh -huh. Priv equals i. Now let's review our code, and at last we review, we return our result. Okay, we start from minus one, may zero, oh, may zero because it's one, one. Okay, we made first zero, so now we update the result with two. And then we say priv to two, and then we go to three. It might be another zero, so the length will be zero. Update nothing. We got one. We do nothing. One one. Go to the last one. It's undefined. It's undefined. We calculate the sum, uh, the length, and update it. So I think it should work. Wow, it's super slow. Ah, not that bad. Anyway, this is the, what I can think of. Uh, time, it's very simple. It's linear time. Space, we only only, you only, only use the priv index, so it's uh, constant. Okay, good. Uh, hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.